Hello, and welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I'm David, and I'm riding a trike. I try to provide a little motivation to people with chronic illnesses and disabilities to find some fun form of outside exercise, because doing so can be therapeutic, and doing so usually turns out to be a lot of fun. I fall into both the chronically ill and disabled categories. I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic when I was a year and a half old, although I had a pancreas transplant when I was 41, which cured me of diabetes. I've had three organ transplants, transplants, that's English. I've had three organ transplants in all. I've had stage three cancer. I'm completely blind in one eye, don't see very well out of the other. I've had uh, several illnesses and infections that have come close to doing me in, but I am still here. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video about the things that I like about riding a recumbent trike. And it got positive feedback, mostly from other recumbent riders or people looking to get into the recumbent triking world, uh, but also from diamond frame riders who could appreciate the things that us recumbent riders really enjoy. Comments and email from people telling me what they think, what they like, giving me their opinions. And I like hearing this stuff. I like engaging with uh, the viewers to get their thoughts and opinions. And as you might know, I post my videos on several Facebook pages mostly for recumbent cyclists, recumbent trikers as well. Hello. Uh, but also for, let's say, for those of us who are into our senior years. I also post them on several more smaller localized Facebook pages. And this one video on the things I like about recumbent cycling, got a remark on one of these Facebook groups from a guy who said recumbent, and I'm quoting here, owners are snobs. And this really shocked me. Um, I truly didn't understand what he was talking about. So I asked him, you know, for clarification. And he said, and hang on a second, I'm going to get the, uh, my phone out so I could tell you exactly what he said. Bear with me a moment here. Come on, face ID. Here we go. And this is a quote. Uh, think they are better because of cost. Retired Jags looking to flex since they can't dot, dot, dot. Gets annoying. Sorry. Now, as some of you who know me, and yeah, more of you who really don't know me that well, uh, I, I'm a competitive kind of person. Sorry, I'm going to get myself together to ride here and start riding again. I'm pretty competitive and I really enjoy getting into, let's say, discussions over almost anything. And I'm competitive to the point where I will take the opinion that's actually contrary to what I truly believe just for the sport of it. 
And this was something that, as you probably know from watching my videos, I'm pretty passionate about recumbent trikes and cycling. So I felt I had to respond to this and, and try and figure out what this guy was talking about. So I pointed out to him that most of us ride recumbent trikes because of some medical condition, balance issues, uh, or, or we just find them more comfortable. And that, again, a lot, possibly most of us, are on the older side and riding a diamond frame bike has just become too uncomfortable and riding a recumbent sorry I just gotta get over this little bridge and riding a recumbent trike is just a lot more comfortable for us that's the way we like to go I said as far as us trying to show off you know, based on the cost of these, I said that recumbents are produced on a much smaller scale than regular bicycles, and therefore the price is higher. I told him I was pretty sure that most of us, if not all of us, would love to see the prices of these come down. But right now, we have to pay what we have to pay and we do it because we enjoy riding these, not because we're trying to show off. I said as far as being labeled a snob, personally I try to say hello or wave to everybody I see on the trail with the exception of when I'm recording one of these videos. He said to me, hang on, I got to stop again so I could read this. His response to that was, I'd rather debate this with the vision of creating a mutual respect. Now, I'm not sure what I said to him that was so disrespectful, but whatever. At this point, other people were joining in on the conversation and I never got any more direct responses from him. Uh, he had a few back and forths with some of these other people, uh, including him telling one guy that recumbent riders are all Tour de France wannabes. Not quite sure what that means. I said that I average about eight to ten miles per hour on the uh, on this trail i didn't think that was going to get me into the tour de france so that was it but it did leave me wondering are we snobs do other people perceive us that way if so why i'd really be curious to hear what you guys think oh and getting back to uh us just wanting to flex that kind of becoming a joke between a friend of mine and me and i think it's a uh, good inside joke for us strike riders we're not out to ride we're out here to ride and flex so that's about it please leave your thoughts and comments down below like to hear your take on all of this. You know, this guy could have just been a troll. Uh, looking to stir up some kind of trouble, I honestly have no idea. But the whole thing was just a little bit crazy and really kind of caught my attention. So yeah, that's it for this ride. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you on the next ride. Thanks. Bye-bye.
Thank you.